Hey, it's Minnesota Sharks, Ace of Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. We're back at Mandalay Bay today, and I wanted to try a place that I haven't tried before called the Sea Breeze Cafe. Let's pop on inside, see what's there. The Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Doing good. Um, do you guys have space for one today? We do, but we have a wait right now. How long a wait? Maybe 20 minutes or less. Oh, okay, I think we can live with that. Do that? Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Spinners and Sharks. So a side effect of Las Vegas being fully opened is it's not fully staffed yet. We got a little bit of a wait on a Friday morning at Sea Breeze, so I think we should probably play a slot machine in the meantime and uh, spend a little extra time maybe winning some breakfast money. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, so we're going to be playing some extra bonus wilds today. And what we're going to go ahead and start off with, I guess we'll go ahead and start with max lines and then we'll do a single credit. We'll work our way up from there just to see how things go while we wait for a table. So let's go ahead and put a few spins on the clock on your marks, get set, ready, and go. Alright, here we go. Oh, never seen this one before. Alright. Oh! We might have some extra bonus wilds here. We got an eagle diving down. We got eagles diving down. Two, three, oh, four. Okay, we actually might win something on this one. Oh, snap! We got the beaver. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh! We got the eggs, we got the bonus now. Let's go, let's go. All right, so we get eight free games here. Already won 90 cents, so we're still up. This might count for breakfast, I don't know, but let's find out how we do on this one. Let's go, three, two, one, let's make some noise. Oh, and we got the Eagle Wild, so watch this. The Eagles are gonna dive down from top of the screen here, and they're gonna fly down here. They're gonna line this up. So at least the first three are gonna line up. All right, there we go. We got some queens and I guess otters or something. Yeah, we got otters coming up and down. Perfect, that was $3. And no retrigger off the golden egg. I think you need at least two, maybe three. All right, we got raccoons though. All right, a couple more free games, let's go. All right. Oh, okay, so the actual eagles are wilds too. Oh, that's a lot of queens. Not too bad, all right. Good feature, good feature. 375, let's drill up, we're still up. All right, right behind you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, it's pretty in here. Oh, that's 
shirts, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, we are at Cebu's right now, immediately looking at the menu. It looks pretty standard, just typical cafe fare. It looks like you got yourself your standard breakfast. You also have your BLTs, your salads, all the usual sort of stuff there. It doesn't appear to be anything special or unique about it. And oddly enough, despite being called Seabreeze, it doesn't have a lot of seafood options. I think I spied maybe a little bit of grilled salmon there maybe one tuna sandwich or something like that uh, but yeah and i think there was a, a shrimp cocktail or something like that but you know that's about it so it'll be interesting still we'll see how it goes all right spinach and shark so here we are we ordered the shrimp cocktail here it was probably a little overpriced 24 dollars we're gonna go ahead and see if it's all right This is not too bad. Strong cocktail sauce. Mm. All right. Pretty solid. Smells a bit frozen. Doesn't taste frozen though. So maybe it's really, really refrigerated though. Sauce is pretty standard. Kimber large. They're fine. They're, they're fine, they're fine. Definitely a three out of five on this one. Nothing to write home about. Um, unless you're really hyped about shrimp, I probably wouldn't do it. But yeah, if you got a comp, you're fine. All right, that's nice and sharp. Here we go. Let's try out. Uh, let's try out the steak here. See if they actually cook it to a liking. It's, uh, oh, because I ordered it medium. It came out. That looks pretty well done. That definitely came out overcooked. Wow. Yeah, that's well done all the way through. It's still juicy. Mm. You stay on the inside dry a little bit on the outside. That's a shame. Now on the bright side, the potatoes are nice. They're tender. They taste fresh, not frozen, which is good. I mean, there's not, never a reason to freeze a potato, I don't think. You should never have frozen potatoes. I mean, if you're at home, that's one thing, but at a restaurant, you never have frozen potatoes. Alright, so still uh, waiting to cut the eye of the server there, let him know about the steak. Um, it's rather unfortunate that it's uh, overcooked like that. I cut it up in a couple other places to see, but. Yeah, no, it's just well done the whole way through. Um, now, it doesn't taste bad or anything like that. It's just... And I just kind of wanted a medium steak. That's all. But I'm, I'm sure they'll be reasonable about that. It's all right, Spinners and Sharks. The Redemption steak was much better. It was cooked properly. Um, ironically, it was uh, seasoned less, though. I thought that was interesting. But well, I guess it all evens out to about a 3 out of 5 when it comes down to it. But thankfully, they were able to take care of that for me. All right, those Spinners and Sharks. Final thoughts on the Sea Breeze Cafe there. Gotta admit, came through, was a little disappointed. So my favorite things for sure were the staff. Genuinely nice folks, everyone was working hard, um, easy to work with. I actually left my phone there and someone someone saved it for me like immediately within three seconds. So that was great. Got it for like half a second. I thought my camera was my phone apparently. So that's on me entirely. So yeah, mad shout out to the staff. Five out of five, no questions asked. Everybody there is great. Um, now, I think my biggest beef, uh, pun intended, was with the beef and the food there. So, everybody makes mistakes, and staff, again, they corrected it immediately, took care of a few things. It was just it was just tough to get a hold of some people, um, again, just because of the staffing issue. I don't want to harp too much on the staffing issue, but I think that was a big thing that colored my experience a bit. The food itself, I found, by and large, was a little under-seasoned. The sauces were fine, but just overall a little under seasoned if seasoned at all and everything was you know fine at best definitely uh kind of a two out of five experience with the food itself overall just the quality staff definitely saved the experience there and um the wait times that's just a product of what's happening with the staffing crisis in vegas right now so i'm not going to hold that against the restaurant within of itself and certainly not against the staff members there so overall rating would definitely fall into a 3 out of 5 category. Um, I might drop by there if I don't have any other special plans or anything like that, but 
I'm certainly going to wait until Vegas is fully recovered, maybe another year or two. So depending on how things work out with the vaccines and getting everybody back to work, so on and so forth. But we'll see. And hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Viva, it's Vegas. Viva, it's Vegas. Viva, it's Vegas. Viva, Viva, it's Vegas.